I am not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's mate. I'm only plucking pheasants because the pheasant plucker is late. Think about it. Hello, Internet! First article of business for today. If you've been keeping track, and I'm sure you have, you may notice that today is in fact the 10th episode of the Weekly Marmot, which I'm sure means something to somebody somewhere. Number two! If you have not yet been made aware, or if you just forgot, uh, this Tuesday, January 5th, marks the opening of the first gate in Ice Crown Citadel that will give us access to Festergut, uh, Rotface, and Professor Putricide. This is coming out on Wednesday, January 6th on European servers. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on tankspot.com and check that out. We'll be getting encounter guys up for those as quickly as possible. Also, Belelros from the Spanish World of Warcraft fan site GiasWow.com has been kind enough to translate several of our videos, particularly the Ice Crown 25 man videos, into Spanish for our Spanish speaking viewers. So if you don't understand English, well, this probably isn't helping you very much, but it's there. Moving on. After my last video, I got all sorts of feedback saying, why do you just talk about add-ons all the time? What happened to all your raid leading stuff? I want to see more raid leading stuff. Why do you just talk about add-ons? So, with that in mind, I figured it'd be a good idea to talk about add-ons for this entire episode. That's... that's a lie. I'm going to talk about raid leading. So without further ado, today's topic is how to deal with wipes that are just absolutely terrible. Or, how to be a complete dick to everyone you know. Imagine this. Say, for example, you're working on Northren B skill number 3718. Uh, you've gotten all the way to phase 3 and you're now fighting Ice Howl, and he picks someone to charge at who, for whatever reason, decides it's best to just take the whole Yeti right in the face. He, of course, dies instantly, and then now there's a gigantic red Yeti running around punching everyone else. They're all falling over, and lo and behold, you wipe. This puts you, the raid leader, in a pretty sticky situation. Do you A. Pretend that absolutely nothing happened and that everyone is completely hunky-dory? B. Fly into a frothing rage and scream into the microphone so loud that even Bruce Banner would find that inappropriate? Or perhaps C. Murder the offending raid member, his family, and anyone who's spoken to him in the last 24 hours? The answer, of course, is none of that! Especially not C. What's wrong with you? No, dear viewer, the correct course of action is to... Well, it depends. There's a few courses of action you could take, and it's ultimately going to be up to you to decide which one is best. You could begin by asking this raid member a few questions, like, Do you know that you need to move away? Do you understand the fight's mechanics? Do you understand that this yeti is about 33 times your size and is going to squish you like a bug? Allow them to give their explanation on what just happened. Who knows, maybe they've got a good reason. Maybe they were lagging. Maybe they were disconnected. Uh, maybe their keyboard spontaneously caught on fire. If their explanation suits you, that's fantastic. Come back and do the whole thing again. Just minus the everyone dying part. If, however, their excuse just doesn't cut it, well, this is where it gets fun. You got yourself a job to do. You need to get across to this person that whatever they just did, don't do it again. That was bad. Uh, there's a handful of ways that you can go about doing this, and most of them are more or less correct. Just remember to keep things at least mostly civil, and that calling people names is generally not super helpful. Just try to stay calm, and be polite, and don't be afraid to put your foot down if you have to. Now, if this is someone that it doesn't happen with very often, they're usually on the top of their game and everything else, then fine. You should be pretty much set to go from there. They might argue with you a little bit, but you can feel free to let that one slide in this case. But, if this is someone that you've had problems with in the past, or for whatever other reason you might consider them a problem raider, uh, then you're going to need to put a little bit more work into it. Sometimes, unfortunately, people just don't get it. And, unfortunately, these are the people that tend to not work out in the long run. However, they can be saved, and there are a few things you can try to do that. There's the help me help you approach. Grab them after the raid and say, you know, I really don't want to get rid of you, but I can't afford to have people in my raid that are screwing up all the time. I mean, remember that whole thing with the gigantic Yeti? That didn't work out too well. Uh, you need to pick it up, or I just can't bring you anymore. Hopefully they'll get the idea and just realize that if they want to continue raiding, they need to improve their performance. You could also try the my way or the highway approach. This is very similar to the help me help you approach, it's just a little angrier. Take them aside and say, look, you're ruining everything for everyone. You've got a terrible attitude. I've got a text message. 
Hold on. All right, what was I saying? Oh yeah, take them aside and say, look, you keep wiping us over stupid crap. You've got a terrible attitude. You're always at the bottom of the DPS meters and you rarely show up on time. Zista. If they continue to not get the point after that, well, who knows, there might not be much helping them. You could even try calling them out right in the middle of the raid, over vent, in front of God and everybody. Uh, you don't want to go on a whole big long tirade, but if you just say something simple like, dude, quit sucking, you know, in front of everybody, that's kind of embarrassing. Now, I know what you're thinking, you're going, but lore, that's rude, and, well yeah, it kind of is, and you're saying, but that's going to ruin morale, and if you're not careful, yeah, it can. But when you sparingly, and I mean absolutely sparingly, last resort sort of thing, calling someone out can actually help your overall rate performance by quite a bit also, just because people know you're taking this sort of thing seriously. Just remember that raiding at its core is just hanging out with a group of friends, killing dragons. And who doesn't want to do that? It's all about having fun. So if you're going to make everything into no fun for anyone, I mean, nobody wants to hang around a raid leader that just yells at everybody all the time. So keep it in perspective. Keep everything calm and simple, and you, everybody loves you. At the very least, they probably won't try to murder you. And, I mean, what more can you ask for, really? All right. Looks like I'm just about out of time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you once again here next Wednesday, and we'll probably have quite a bit to say about the new bosses in Ice Crown.